Oi, I'm Captain Dandy Arnold. Retired captain, that is, of the National Geographic Sea Lion. I'm now an inventor and working on a new stand-up paddleboard concept, which I'm calling the Stand-Up Paddle Outrigger, or SUPPO for short. The design is based on the ancient Polynesian technology of the outrigger. The Polynesians learned long ago that the U-shaped hull is the most efficient because it provides the most volume of buoyancy per unit of surface area. This means less wet surface, which produces drag. The problem with a U-shaped hull is that it is unstable. It's very easy to tip over. So the Polynesians added outriggers to stabilize it, and this makes for a very efficient vessel. Although the suppo looks intimidating to stand on, it's actually extremely stable. It's virtually impossible to tip over in flat water. It would require a substantial wave to turn it over. I built this first prototype at Tech Shop in Silicon Valley. It's a high-tech maker space that has all the tools and equipment to build your dreams. They have CNC machines, lays, mills, 3D printers, sewing machines, welding, laser cutters, everything you need, and the space to build it. The only part that I didn't do was the glassing of the hulls. This was done at eTech using Super Sap, a sustainable epoxy made from tree sap. The foam core is made of 100% recycled foam. I provided a paddle holder on the front deck so you never have to lose track of your paddle. A key element of the suppo is a mechanism which turns the rudder when the hull is tilted. As the paddler shifts their body weight on the standing platform, the rudder shifts back and forth. There are springs that provide resistance to the tilt of the hull. These are adjustable, similar to trucks on a skateboard. The paddler can adjust them to their preference for stiffness. The pontoons pivot freely on a single pivot point, allowing them to follow a turn. A foot lever raises the rudder by sliding it to the right, and a simple tap will lower it back down. The suppo is easy to transport because it'll fit on any surfboard roof rack. Although it's in two parts, the hull and the outrigger bridge, it's actually easier to carry than a standard sup, especially in the wind. The two parts easily connect together with a locking quick release pin. The primary purpose of the suppo is stand up paddling, obviously, for exercise and fitness and just to reduce stress by being out on the water and enjoying your environment. It's fast and maneuverable, but paddling is not the only purpose. One of the more unique aspects of the suppo is the ability to power it and use it without holding a paddle. The fact that you are steering with your feet by shifting your body weight allows you to leave the paddle on deck and just hold the remote control in your hand to control the speed. It's really a lot of fun. You can think of it as a segue for the sea or a one-person duffy boat. This opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Whether it is the folks who lack the strength or confidence to paddle or the person who wants to cruise around the harbor with a drink in their hand, this represents a whole new segment of the SUP market. Another unique and very cool aspect of the SUPPO is the ability to sail it downwind. I developed a simple sail which clips into the standing platform at the bottom, it's adjustable for height, and since you have to carry a paddle anyway, the paddle becomes a horizontal mast. So the blade slips into one corner, the handle slips into the other, and you just rest it on your shoulders behind your neck and enjoy a downhill run after working so hard paddling upwind. Even in a light breeze you can make pretty good headway maneuvering with your feet by shifting your body weight. So now I'm seeking a brand or manufacturer who will adopt the suppo and mass produce it. If I can't find anyone I'm going to be doing a Kickstarter campaign. So stay tuned to this YouTube channel for further video updates and I'll keep you posted. So thank you for watching and aloha.